Okay. These soulless fucks are so fucking stupid. They're like, they're like fucking if William Hung tried to kill fucking Ricky Martin. Imagine this one. Here's, here's what these idiots are trying to do. Trying to ban my fucking account. Or trying to block, and trying to block you people from hearing what I'm saying. And we have found the next key. What's these, name? My, my name is these, mother, these motherfuckers are William Hung. But then picture William Hung if he's going to go kill Ricky Martin. <laughs> So he's gonna kill Ricky Martin. He's gonna suppress Ricky Martin to make sure that everybody only hear him sing. She's bad. Let me tell you what I'm gonna oh, sing. I'm yeah. singing Ricky Martin. She bags. She bags. Yes. These motherfuckers. It's a good song. This is their so, mascot. But, um, William so Hung is their mascot. You know, really they don't know do how well stupid they are. The- Cause you gotta break the shit. These um, you gotta break the shit down. These are motherfuckers with baby brains who never grew up. They don't understand how to control their feelings. They want other adults to care about their feelings. They're trying to translate babyism to a fucking adult life because they're not good enough to be a real adult. And they failed at everything in life. Their parents even gave up on them. That's the real part you got to focus on. Their own parents gave up on them and just said, no, you're in timeout. <laughs> Which it was they're trying to do to, they're trying to do a, an evil version of that to others who are better than them. Yeah, because they were ready for it to be their turn. Because their parents just couldn't communicate with them. It's like, hey, get over ego. Ah! And their and their soulless and their worthless fucking parents who had a soulless baby, which is why God cursed them with that soulless baby. Their parents just gave up on them and just made sure they were at least right in front of their face. And that demented their soulless brain because they can't think on their own. So all they know is what others have exposed to them. So right now it's like they're a half baked turkey. Were they can act right in front of authority, but when everyone's back is turned, they 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 think that not getting caught equals not doing something. That all that only happens in a situation that an angel like me would know. It's them <laughs> having soulless, worthless parents. God cursed with a soulless baby, so it can be a traffic light to go test people to see if they're going to heaven or hell. And then the soulless parents are ill-equipped to have kids because they had kids for ego reasons. And then, and then, and then the soulless kid is going to need even more attention. And then their parents just give up on them and just start putting them in timeout. Their parents just start hitting them or even just put them in timeout or taking away things so they can act right in a moment because they're not naturally getting it like a real person. So it creates a conflict to where not getting caught equals not doing something wrong. And acting right in front of authority. It's like authority said, wear a mask. I wear a mask. And then it's like if, if authority isn't looking, <laughs> like the kid who, who who blows you a raspberry when the teacher is writing something and then start putting her hands on the desk, looking like a good citizen when the teacher when the teacher turns around and look at the class. This is, this is what Revelation is explaining. These things are going to grow in numbers because of immorality and society and other shit. So that's all it's just it's, it's just explaining that. It's not it's nothing that's a big deal. Think about it. Think about it. It's nothing that's a big deal. So the monkeys are doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> but they're all William Hung. Where they where where they got retarded thoughts jumbling in their broken brain right now. Where it's like I'm still something cuz they can't weigh their feelings with the real world. They can't, they don't really see their self. They don't have self-awareness. So they're all William Hunk thinking, yeah, my thinking is as good as folks who put work into it. Like Ricky Martin is a motherfucker who, who worked his whole life to fucking sing and put effort in singing. You know, when he was a kid with Menudo and, and just working his whole life to fucking sing. Where that shit doesn't just come overnight. And this soul is dimwit. And his retarded brain. He wants everyone to cheer him. And it's just going to teleport to being a singer. Without any fucking work. <laughs> this is every one of them motherfuckers. He's their master. Or I don't. The producers, cast, and crew would like to express their gratitude. But then they're so fucked up. You got to add a more fucked up twist. To where now William Hunk is going to kill Ricky Martin. So everyone can only hear him sing this song. The engineering student. William Hung for showing and up and shaking his bonbon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Talk to me. <laughs> tell me your name. You blow me off like it's all Imagine this same. motherfucker trying you to kill Ricky and Martin. I'm taking so away everyone like can only hear, hear his version. Yeah, baby. She bangs. She bangs. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> she Imagine if he replaced a Ricky Martin video. 
and everyone can only see his <laughs> see his retarded dances. She now. Moves. I go crazy this is she every like this is blood, every song. Like in his brain, he sounds fine. <laughs> In his brain, in his brain, it's fine. Or so as fucks. So of course he's a lovable retard. Everyone felt sorry for. But they but then (laughs) imagine if it goes to their head, like Frankenstein's monster. Where then imagine Ricky Martin, picture Ricky Martin No being dead, and William Hunk has took his place. He's living in his mansion. He's got Ricky Martin's assistant. And he he treats the assistant worse than Ricky Martin. Imagine William Hung saying, Bitch, I'm William Hung. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> I'm just yelling at his assistant <laughs> and treating everybody like shit. Because <laughs> these things don't have any talent. So when you accept them or you patronize them, they think you're being for real. Because they're a retarded dimwit who everyone is afraid they're going to lose control. Like, idiots are afraid that. It's like, your Facebook ain't that important, but these idiots are so fucking stupid. They think if they banned her Facebook, that would be the end of their life. It's like, motherfucker, it's not that important. I only went on Facebook because somehow my sister was arguing with her in-laws, and I wanted to fucking, uh, and I just wanted to read the shit, and they make you have a Facebook account. If they didn't do that, I would have never had a Facebook account. Then I just started trolling and getting idiots to kill herself on her Facebook account. <laughs> because, I didn't, because I don't care about it. <laughs> and I'm just doing shit that I know, the secret inside information that I fucking know, and just having fun on fucking Facebook. <laughs> but, but idiots are afraid that these idiots are going to ban their Facebook because they're crazy as fuck. So it's like you're not getting real respect. You're just getting respect because folks think you're going to do something fucked up because you're a monster. That's not, And if you, when you're too dumb to see that, that's how you always know you should kill yourself. <laughs> Thank you. These idiots are dumb as fuck. They're basically all William Hung. He can't sing, he can't dance. But then it's even worse because William Hung looks like I, I I don't think anyone like that can be nice. He's too fucked up. That dude is too fucking delusional. No one delusional can be nice. No one crazy can be nice. No one with no self awareness can be nice. <laughs> I don't give a fuck because he's disrespecting everyone there. <laughs> he is the sorriest motherfucker on the planet because he that's why he's their mascot. <laughs> they are the sorriest motherfuckers on the planet. It's a collective evil like Geikas from Earthbound. Oh, <laughs> they are the worst motherfuckers on the planet. <laughs> but this motherfucker isn't trying to kill Ricky Martin. <laughs> Imagine if he was trying to just make sure everyone forced had a force was forced to hear his version. Because I had a thought to explain it better. Basically, their brains are so broken, they think that the only competition is everyone else so if they take away the competition then they would be on top it's the mark of cain isn't that the mark of cain because it is <laughs> i would imagine if Rick, ricky martin doesn't have the mark of cain but imagine if, i mean not ricky martin i'm talking to this motherfucker did a serpent mind trick i'm calling william hung ricky martin wow william hung really is the worst <laughs> William Hunk is the worst. <laughs> He's the worst at doing a serpent mind trick. Because I was really calling him Ricky Martin. <laughs> uh, all of them do serpent mind tricks. But I think that's how he became famous. Hey, you know, I, oh, I, oh, my God. Because I was just looking at his picture. Which which this is a fucking screen capture. You can't see it. I was just looking at his picture. And then I just called him Ricky Martin. <laughs> There's something about the way that he's looking and stirring. Where, oh my god, that is creepy. That is some creepy ass fucking shit. Oh my god. I don't even want to. Oh my god. I, I can look at that fucking retard. I can't. I, I can't look at fucking William Hunk. Because it makes me feel that he's Ricky Martin. That is crazy. I almost forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, I was saying the Mark and Kane. They feel. <laughs> they have that fucking Mark of Cain where they have to kill something and then their version is the only version and then everyone is forced to like it. That's why dictators happen. It's creepy as fuck. These motherfuckers are crazy as fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna type I'm gonna type something and see and see if they're still doing that. <laughs> like for saying I used to type on Facebook when I was when I was doing that, so this fuck should just kill herself. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it really works. That that's not why it works. That's the punchline. You got to actually put real logic in the brain. Was, the first step has got to be true. It's got to be something they didn't think about, and it's got to be something important, which is hard as fuck. You got to be smart as fuck to do that shit, because <laughs> it's not something. It's, and you're William Hunk if you think you could just do that shit easily. It's like, what the fuck? You got to be smart as fuck. It's got to be something they really haven't never thought about. It's got to be something. It's got to be something that's really effective. That's that's not that. You didn't tie your shoe. You should die your shoe to kill yourself. <laughs> it's got to be something real weighty. And then it's got to be something universal that all of them do. Because, like I say, you, you, you know superheroes who may have a horde of rats? My dream is to have a horde of crackheads and get welfare Christians and fake Christians to go kill themselves. Where I know how to get an idiot to go kill themselves. Where I can just go in their face and dress them down and start laughing in their face. And they, and if I don't want them to hit them, they won't hit me. If I want them to hit me so I can try to get a lawsuit, they can hit me. I, I know how to just pull the puppet strings and take the puppet strings from Satan and just pull their puppet strings. I know how to do it perfectly. But then the goal is... They have a horde of homeless folks, a horde of crackheads, a horde of drunks to be able to, to have such a dumbed down version, but absolute version, which is hard as fuck yeah. to where they can get any of these idiots to go kill themselves. So that's what so that's what I've really been working on. I've been practicing <laughs> because shit, it's like you take shit and make it lemons. You turn life into lemonades. I actually, I actually, that actually wasn't a life goal, but then it became a goal when I started getting on Facebook more and seeing how stupid shit was. <laughs> and then I, was, I was thinking that would be a good idea because it'll be funny as fuck. <laughs> it'll be effective and it'll give some comeuppances because we're trying to attack folks who are just vulnerable and they think no one protects. <laughs> so then that, that, that'll be good on that level. To just have a horde of fucking crackheads. Can you imagine the worst, dumbest crackhead? You to kill yourself because so, 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 so. And it really works. <laughs> but it has to be really, it has to be really fine-tuned. Because I can go out there and I can free flow. And then I can hit, I can actively think. But you got to. You got to look at things from an angle to where someone who's not who may not have capabilities or may be struggling through life because they have they have so many problems that these assholes do to them. So from that so from that perspective, where's the most foolproof shit that gets all of them to kill themselves? So then that dream can come true. <laughs> but I'm gonna see if, if I'm gonna see. Yeah. Cause they're thinking, it's like dummy. It ain't about fucking me. I don't. I don't give a fuck. I don't need no fucking attention. You never should kill yourself when you always need attention. That's not something normal people need. You need it because you're a fucking parasite who should fucking kill yourself. <laughs> you never should kill yourself when you can only relate to others with what you do. <laughs> Cause so as fucks, they sit down and they say who is similar, and then they try to delude a fake version of being being a people person. Based on based on shit that's just similar. It's like dummy. That means you're not a people person. A people person has true fucking diversity, you retarded monkey. <laughs> when you're looking for someone with similarities and then you work backwards and then lie to yourself that that you're around someone uh, you're a people person, it's like dummy. You're around someone who's just like you. <laughs> so that doesn't count. You didn't think for far enough, monkey. That doesn't count. <laughs> And these motherfuckers are stupid as fuck. <laughs> these motherfuckers are some bad decision-making motherfuckers. You do not give babies jobs. If you give a baby job, something like this will happen. You type the, and then and then it won't work. In a baby brain, that makes sense. It's like, yeah, I'd make you do what mommy do me when I don't know why. It's like, how have I not acted right? I don't know. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> where that would be the exchange uh, where it's not even due process this country says if someone does something before you punish them you gotta you gotta confront them first i don't want to confront them because then they may say something i didn't think about and then that would be more feel bad everybody always saying you don't do that right you don't do that i'm ready i don't want to feel bad no more <laughs> so i sneak around me sneak around and then they can't catch me and then I would never have feel bad with baby thinking logic. Yay! <laughs> I would never feel bad. 
Because I sneak around and they won't know it. And if I make a mistake, they won't, it won't be like, yeah, you did that wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I will feel happy forever. <laughs> Which is never going to happen. Because they only they don't even have happiness. You can get them to kill themselves by pointing out you only have the hope of happiness. That that always fucks them up. Because they, they really do think the hope of happiness is the closest they can get. But then they their brain categorizes that as happiness. If you say you only have the hope of happiness, you never actually attain fulfillment. You're still trying to get fulfilled. If you can just walk by and just say that, or you can you can shoehorn that in a conversation, and then, and then they would go kill themselves. It's better if you walk by and say it and have a disguise on. Because <laughs> because these on, these idiots are purposely only living because they're fixated on me. If not, they would have killed themselves a long time ago. It's like. They're they're getting a false victory by fixating on me with illogical shit and trying to make me wrong so they can feel right. Which of course those things don't connect. Those dovetails don't connect, do they? <laughs> they're trying they're trying to make me wrong to feel right. That's basically all they can do in life at this point to not kill themselves. And that and that's not going anywhere. That's like pissing in the fucking wind when you think about it. Think about it. It's say like, it's like, I, we don't have an umbilical cord tied to each other. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that road doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> it's just, but their brain is broken. They can't trust anything they're thinking at this point because of everything they've been exposed to. <laughs> you can't think, you can't dumb. So what do you want me to say? And you know, I have no professional training of singing. No. Yeah, 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 you should. Can you imagine that? This motherfucker is so dumb. He thought he could just teleport. And say, yeah, because I'm so special. <laughs> What's really happening underneath is everything I do not good. This just has to work. This just has to work. Because they're just guessing through life. They don't have, like, they don't understand. It, it's mind-boggling to them that people can be accurate. People can earn shit. People can put work into something. They think that we all just magically just start doing stuff. <laughs> It's not the same fucking perspective of a person. It's just a loser who just think he teleports to the fucking top and everyone cheers him. And then these idiots actually ruin society by actually, by, by actually fucking feeling sorry for him. But it only makes Frankenstein's monster where it goes to their head. And it really is William Hung telling, telling his assistant, Bitch, don't you know who I am? I'm William Hung, bitch. <laughs> Because every time you become their friend, it goes to their fucking head. Where it's like, crackhead, don't you know who I am? I'm so-and-so, crackhead, or faggot, don't you know who I am? Or or Mexican, don't you know who I am? <laughs> They're going to find someone to bigot. Or woman, don't you know who I am? <laughs> They're going to find someone who's, who, who they delude themselves or one of their friends said is weaker. Like racism happens. They're going to find some some group who's not protected because they're cowards. And then they're going to try to attack them. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I don't feed fucking strays. It's like, motherfucker, I don't want to be your fucking friend. Don't talk to me. I'm okay. Leave me the fuck alone. I got shit to do. <laughs> I do it's, it's, unless, unless I have some agenda going. There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> I don't feed strays because I know everything about soulless monkeys. <laughs> And if you if you become their friend, they're gonna want to use some other group as a chew toy or someone alone as a chew toy. Basically, they're like a rapist who's looking in the alley, and a woman is dressed sexy. She's just sexy. Ooh, she's alone. <laughs> where, where they're looking to do something nefarious with folks who are alone. The same way a dog th is thinking, "Ooh, that rabbit is alone. I'm gonna use it as a chew toy." It's like, have you ever thought that rapists? Or using women as chew toys like a dog? Because they are. <laughs> Shit, I'm a criminologist. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I, know, I know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. It's the same thing. It's just the same. It's that animal instinct because it doesn't have a soul. Translate it. So these idiots are always going to first focus on and someone alone because then I won't get in trouble. And they won't be pointing a finger saying, you didn't do this right. You didn't do that right. <laughs> if you don't appreciate it, I just gave you a glimpse of what's going on in their brain under their facade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like all that shit is echoing in their brain because they don't have skills to do anything. And it's funny as fuck from my perspective. It's funny as fuck because you walk around, these motherfuckers, they really do be looking happy as fuck. But inside, it's like, yeah. 
that's why that's why he's tri- that's why he's tripping out of Walmart. It's just like at a dog park. It's like these motherfuckers are crazy as fuck. Where they're trying to really put on a happy face. <laughs> Oh, they're really trying to put on a happy face, and your dumb asses be falling for it. These motherfuckers are crazy as fuck. Inside, it's just like you can just see an angry, stale, rotten baby. That's a zombie baby, like in a fish land. Just, just sticking his head out, saying "Yeah," and just crying. <laughs> like picture, picture a baby in a fi- fish land that that has just been a stale baby and never fed, and just has it, the skin is decaying, and it's in like a fish land. And his head and his forehead, because you know how those fish lenses look. His forehead is coming at you and it's crying. <laughs> but then you look at their physical face and it'll be smiling because it is just hoping that you're going to show it something to get it right. And saying, maybe if I'm friends with so and so long enough, they're going to show me the secret to get right. They're going to show, and they're restraining. We're. They're a second away from killing you. That's why so much fucking crime happens between folks who know each other. They're a second away from killing you as soon as they know that you can't make them right. You're not God or their mommy. But they're hoping that that being up and living up to your standards is something that's going to get them right. It is creepy as fuck. It is creepy as fuck. Yeah. And I'm a brave motherfucker to even go outside. <laughs> But, but I do it for people. I don't do it. Everyone isn't a fucking person. I say shit. Being judgmental is way is the ways of God. <laughs> or if you're if you're a man of God, if you're a woman of God, you got to be fucking judgmental. What the fuck? Soulless fucks be fooling you by saying don't judge me, so they can get out of trouble. Of course you're supposed to judge them. You don't judge motherfuckers who haven't done something. You don't judge motherfuckers who aren't fucking doing something. And doing something takes two steps. It's like being a faggot isn't doing something. It would be being a faggot who tries to rape a little boy. (laughs) It always has to be at least two steps. Like being a nigger isn't doing something. It would have to be being a nigger who tries to rape someone else. (laughs) Or being a nigger who tries to rape a white woman. Or being a nigger who tries to rob or or shoot someone to take their shoes or something. (laughs) That's what it would take for it to be wrong. Soulless folks think shit, shit... they're so incomplete. Everything just takes one step because they don't. They have a one-step soulless brain. Think about it. Think think about everything a soulless fuck tells you. If you can't tell who's a soulless fuck, then that shows you're the, you're the soulless fuck. Think about so think about everything in your brain. Everything is just one step because <laughs> they're that fucking broken. It's not a fucking person. They're just hoping that someone shows them something. They're not living life to thrive and progress like people are doing. They're hoping that they're going to get something so they can get to that stage. They're trying to get right later. They're trying to figure out what's going to make them right when people are making everything else around them right. And they're trying to figure out what's going to make them right, and they're already a fucking adult. It's not a fucking person. 